and life after roadkill, making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Or should that be a dead rat? Dead sharks, dead sheep and dead cows. It's made some British artists like Damien Hirst into a millionaire. But for a Lancashire art graduate, it's all about recycling. Yeah, it started out as a hobby. Just um, I was doing painting and then I was on my travel scene, road kill everywhere. And I thought, well, it's a bit of a waste just letting it rot at the side of the road. So I wanted to try and use it. So I decided to start teaching myself how to do taxidermy. Paul the Pigeon I found in Blackburn Town Centre and he was run over by a Marks and Spencer's truck. I just scooped it up into a carry bag. These are flies set in um, resin with a flower in there. They'll be turned into earrings and necklaces and she's found other extraordinary uses for dead pets donated by friends and dead rodents intended for pet food. I have to say one of my biggest phobias is rats or mice but I'm very intrigued by Nicola's rat purse. I have put on some gloves to handle it, as you can see. I want to see what a handiwork is like. The clay and the foam that I've used to put inside the taxidermy is all recycled. I found it out of skips. We live in a world now that's so polluted and full of rubbish that I think it's going to end up where rubbish is going to be really valuable because that's going to be our new thing to use. I've heard of worse art. I guess if you don't like it, you don't have to look at it. Just thinking what I'm going to have for my tea on the way home, and now you've put me off. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be that bothered given it's already dead, but if it was my cats, I might be. I wouldn't be happy to have that displayed on my walls or anything like that. I think you have to love animals to do something like this. And the RSPCA has said good taxidermists are of no concern to them. Aero Tour, BBC Northwest tonight in Lancashire. Well, goodness me. You've got dogs, Tony. Do you fancy that? <laughs> uh, well, I think one of them would look very good in the top hat, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philip, yeah. That's got a lace say, around um, its neck. You have to admire the skill. Yes. Real talent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just <laughs> give me a fun look. Diane's speechless. Now I'm just looking to the future, a golden retriever in a Victorian <laughs> dress. Lee. Just see where they end up. Good evening to you. Weather-wise, as we head through the next couple of days, it gradually starts to get warm.